Yes, this is the back. best light. <laughs> go again. It's not gonna look like this for much longer. Did you guys vlog? Uh, but you think Home Alone 2 is more classic than Elf? It is insane. Roll over, crack your neck open, and then your arms are gonna fall off, and then you're gonna die. All right, you guys, it is Wednesday night, and tonight is a big night because I'm going to pick up Brendan from the airport. He's coming home from college. Yay, for Christmas break. There's Ryan down here doing his homework very oh, diligently. He's opted to not come with me so he can continue his homework. Yeah. Wednesday nights are big nights for him. He's on a roll. Yeah, he is, yep. What'd you just do? I just did my, I'm taking this mobile apps class, and I just finished coding an app. Do you think you'd like to do coding? Okay, that's like a big thing. It's like it is insane. Yeah, it is insane. Yeah, a lot of people like they say it's, that there's a gazillion coding jobs out there. Like that's yeah. like the future of whatever. But now it's, not it's your cool thing? and fun to do. But yeah, and if you think about it, a lot of stuff we do is run off like it's oh like, yeah everything everything is coded. So yeah, but no, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> like okay. I'm not the one to sit there in front of a computer and build on like. I think I'm creative enough to build, like, a website or something or, like, a game. Right. But actually doing it is, yeah. Like, I, so I said I just finished coding an app, and I, I'm i sure that sounded pretty cool, but it's the simplest thing ever. It's a frog jumping app. Yeah. You that's okay. I mean, that's you how you start. You click on the frog, and then it moves. <laughs> and then you click on it again, and it moves. And if you don't, then it goes to a start over screen. So, yeah. Brian, that is totally the beginning of, like... Rocket, what would you ask me today if you could download? Rocket League. Rocket, Rocket League. That's like the beginning of Rocket League, man. You can like, Rocket yeah. Okay, so this is the thing. I had Ryan set up when he was, you know, younger, when he first got his iPhone. Um, for I, I had to give oh him permission gosh, yeah. to download whatever he wanted to download. I don't know how to turn it off now. So poor Ryan has to ask so me every time he wants to. I don't know how to turn it off. I just haven't taken the time to call Apple. Yeah. I'm so, sorry. So all the boys. So Rocket League is obviously an Xbox game, but they made some mobile version of it and all the boys got it and are playing it at lunch and charlie's like but you gotta get this game so i was like all right and he was like did you get the game i was like no because i knew you i was gonna have to ask you it's weird downloading games in school because i feel like you're gonna think i'm not doing my schoolwork. And that's exactly what i, I thought lunch, by the way. and i so i did it and then she texted me and she's like really and i'm like what i'm at lunch <laughs> so she's like all right as long as you do your homework you can get it and then she said uh, you have to request it. Like, I can't yeah, just... No, yeah, yeah, and you have I, to request I, it. I requested it again, and you still didn't... Oh, I didn't see it come through. Okay. I'm sorry, babe. This is Brennan's room, as you guys know who've been watching. It is all clean and ready for him. I'm so excited. It's not going to look like this for much longer. I'm sure of it. Actually, you know what I have to say? I've been really impressed with Brennan as far as his cleanliness at school goes. If you saw the video where we went and saw his dorm room like halfway through. It wasn't super clean, but his side was definitely more organized. Well, sorry, Derek, <laughs> roommate. I don't mean it that way, but like Brennan, he called me last night and he said, mom, I'm getting ready to come home. So I cleared out the refrigerator. I threw all that stuff away. I cleaned the bathroom. I did all my laundry, uh, which is weird because most people wait till they get home to do laundry. Um, did laundry and packed my bag. Like he, he's very much into like, cleaning and organizing now which really makes me happy and it's one of those things that sort of I guess you learn when you um, go live on your own and go to college so uh, maybe I'm speaking too soon maybe this room will stay nice and organized but I don't expect it to and I'm just so happy for him to come home so he is probably going to land in the next hour or so so I'm going to get in the car and head up there I'm going to pick up him and Chris his room or not his roommate but his friend from high school I'm here in the cell phone lot waiting for Brennan. Um, I started to go uh, to get him first, my, my first attempt to come to the airport. And I got in my car and just pulled up the flight just to make sure it was gonna be on time and it was delayed an hour. So I ran some quick errands and um, now I'm here and Brennan tells me that he is at the baggage carousel. So I'm gonna go up and get him. He's here, he landed with Chris, did I tell you that? Yes, Chris. Chris is coming and he was also with another 
friend of theirs from here, Alex, but I don't think I'm taking Alex home. I think I'm just taking Chris and Brennan home. So um, let me go get him. I think by now his baggage is probably coming off the carousel. So Brennan texts me and says, yes, I'm at the carousel and my baggage is coming out or my baggage has come out, I'm ready to roll. I said, okay, great, I'm just about there. What door number are you? And he said, I'm at number 14. So, okay, great, I'm coming in. And then he goes, actually, no, I've got one more bag. I'm thinking, wait, did you forget a bag? <laughs> I said, Brennan, I'm at 14 now. He said, ah, never mind. go do another lap because Chris and I are meeting my friend Kieran at, number two, at uh, door number two, which is kind of a long way of saying, Brennan has friends everywhere all the time. He constantly, no matter where he is, he knows everybody. So here we are at the airport and he's like running into people he knows coming home from college as well. So he wants me to do another lap so he can spend some time with Karen. So yes, I'm, I've already passed door number two anyway and I couldn't reverse. So I'm doing another lap. I'll pull up at number two and grab he and Chris. <laughs> so typically Brennan. So this is the thing about Brennan too is I am so happy that he's home and I cannot wait to spend so much time with him. But I know he's going to be out seeing like tons of friends all the time. He also is gonna be working. He said he was able to pick up a few shifts from the place that he worked um, over the summer. So that's good. But um, when we go to Florida for Christmas, we will definitely get to sequester him a little bit. Actually, not really in Florida because now he's got tons of friends down there because he goes to school in Florida and he knows a ton of people down there. So it's great. I would much rather him have friends and be able to do that. But he does need to carve out some time for the family, which he always does. All right, you guys, I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him. We had, there he is, you see him? Yay! Guess this who's is back. the best light. <laughs> back again. And he's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> it's almost like he didn't leave. Somebody commented, wow, it's like Brendan didn't even go to college. We see him all the time. No, seriously. But it's, we, I think we timed everything perfectly, though. We dropped you off. And it was about a month and a half later that I stopped by and saw you for dinner, right? Correct. And then after that, you came home like, let's say, a month after that. Mm -hmm. And then we had Thanksgiving. No, no. I'm then we went out for a game. Fries. I'm sorry, I'm eating these fries. Oh, I'm yeah, we, we stopped at Pot right Pies now. on the way home. Then we, then we went up and just visited you quick for a game. And then you came home for Thanksgiving. And then now. I think it's actually perfect. Perfectly spread out. Yeah, do you think it was too much? <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna go home. Katie, it's 10.30 at night. Katie and Ryan just called and said they're going to bed, but I would imagine they'll it's come such out of bed. It we're is gonna cap. be home in 15 minutes. I know. They'll be wide awake. Exa I hope they are. So we'll get a chance to um, reunite real quick before they go to bed and they have school in the morning. Mike is yeah, I'll be doing Florida everything working. school related for a month. That is success. amazing. Amazing. I mean, a little, a little under a month, like four or five, four weeks. How many? Is it four weeks? Yeah. Is that what you have four weeks? Because what day is today? December eighth. Yeah, Wednesday the eighth. Thirty-one minus eight is twenty-three plus five. Yeah, it's exactly four weeks. Four weeks. Wait. Yeah, actually, you go, you, you go back on a Wednesday, so it is exactly four weeks. Really? Yeah. It was supposed to snow today, you guys, but I was all excited yeah. about returning home and there being snow on the ground. But um, first of all, the first snow of the season, which would have been that, it never really sticks. So it was going to be just a dusting this morning, but that didn't even happen. But they treated the roads. There's like stuff all over the roads. Some people at FSU have never seen snow before. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird? Really? Like, grow up, go find some snow. Oh, man. I do have to say, as much as I don't like the cold, um, it's really pretty when it snows here. I do like snow. Yes, and you can ski on it. Do you go ski while you're here? I hope Should so. Should we go skiing? It's a lot of money. Yeah. Oh. Depends who's paying. <laughs> we could go, should go as a family. That'd be fun. I can rock with that. Yeah? But I can't rock with tearing my ACL and then having to no. get surgery. That would be very bad. That would be bad. I was thinking about this. How did people... You, when we were little and I was like, Mom, can I go skiing? All my friends are skiing. You're like, no, you're going to roll over crack your neck open and then your arms are gonna fall off and then you're gonna die and i was like ma like it's, it's, it's not yeah it's really dramatic and now you're like oh my gosh i can't wait to go skiing so, <laughs> choose a struggle choose a struggle but now yes i'm very because i realized that you can ski um carefully <laughs> oh, <laughs> which actually katie showed me a tiktok the other day of this skier like 
totally, maybe it was Ryan, totally tumbling, tumbling. And I'm like, oh, that looks like Brendan. <laughs> Remember that one time you took that huge, we had a huge tumble. When we were going? The only time that you and I were skied together, yeah. It was like one of the last runs. Remember we were up really high, we got that beautiful picture when the sun was setting. Yeah. And then, it might have been like the run right before that. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I was also like, I would like spin in circles because I would like brake too hard and then I would just like spin in a circle that would be going backwards. I'd be like, damn, I got it in reverse. <laughs> and then I'd spin in the other circle the other way. I look like a goof. Like my friend sent me like a year ago today like videos. It's just me spinning in circles while I'm skiing. Because like, you never took it. lessons. You literally just put skis on and went, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember That's when like my you, third time probably. When uh, you were I, little? I think I've been I went three or four times. Total? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. All right, you guys, we're almost home. So we can go home and eat our Popeyes. I should not eat a chicken sandwich, a fried chicken sandwich at 10.45 at night. I should not be eating anything. I feel like I got fat. Have you been working out? Yeah, but like, I just keep eating. Yeah. Well, that's what you're and like it's, Well, it's kind of catching up to me now. Because I've been able to just eat for the past 18 years and then mm -hmm. 19 something. Boom. No. Mm. You gotta stop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, there's the why. You can get the why. I'll be there every day. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Actually, like last week. It's my day now. <laughs> no, no, no. It's from the oh, we brought Popeyes home, but you weren't with us. What? <laughs> you know. I'm happy to split my sandwich with you. <laughs> no, it's my turn to split it with you. We had Chick Fil A earlier today, and you shared your sandwich. You gave. You I gave, gave you my sandwich. Wait, so I you didn't give me a sandwich? I did. You did? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, I didn't buy two because I wasn't gonna eat a whole one. We're gonna split this one. That's cool. It's I, no, 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 I, I, I wouldn't actually eat a whole one right now. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Excellent. <gasps> Should we go in and wake up, Katie? Oh. Biscuit biscuits. No. I know. Why would you? You would, buy, so you would buy a chicken sandwich and biscuits? That's a lot of carbs. Let me say, you, when you pull up to the drive-thru at Papa's, you say, let me, you, first, off the bat, they're going to say, hey, you say, seven biscuits. <laughs> and then, and hi, then, how are you? And then, seven biscuits, what's up, man? Can I also get a chicken sandwich? <laughs> like, that's what you need. Got it. <laughs> Perfect. Right, Brent's going to sneak in. Aww. Did you wake her? Aww. Sorry about that. It took about T minus 10 minutes for them to come home and start wrestling. No. Brennan made fun of Ryan's feet. Ryan decided to attack Brennan. Brennan is now taking care of Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and he just punished a chicken sandwich from Popeyes. So, yeah. So, my name is Ryan Donnelly and I'm stupid. All right. Say it, what you got. All right, so Brennan arrived home last night and it was a late night. So we all went to bed without sharing what made us happy and finishing the vlog. But today, hi everybody. We're all snuggly and cozy here, getting ready to watch the Polar Mar Express. Mar Look at him. What's he doing? Hi. I'm going to smoosh your head. Right. I'm smooshing your Hey, Brennan. What has been the best part of your day so far? Hey, yo. It was really fun going to shop with Katie today. Aww. Did you guys vlog? No. no. That's okay. What'd you shop for? No worry about sweetheart. Okay. Um, Brennan, how was your sleep? How was sleeping in your bed? Uh, awesome. Yeah. That first that first sleep back, it's different. Is that right? Yeah. Good for you. Are you in, looking forward to it tonight? In the cave. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. such a cave down there. Yeah. That's awesome. And you don't have your roommate's um, obnoxious music going young in boy, the morning? Young boy alarm? Yeah, there's no young boy alarm. <laughs> 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 I have a juice bar alarm. Oh, you that's... probably hate that song now, don't you? Yeah, I do. I can't listen to it anymore. Hard work pays off. I love Hard it. work pays off. Juice na, 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 na. Yeah. I can't listen to it. Molly started... Or, Arden has been like obsessed with it and she started playing it in the car like on the way to and from pole vault and I was like, I can't listen to this. It gets traumatizing. You should yeah. listen to a song that you already hate. So we're getting ready to watch Polar Express. I would like to make an announcement. Hot chocolate? Oh, we can do hot chocolate. Let me do hot chocolate? Yeah. I'm gonna do hot chocolate. Like okay. Kaden, for the very first time, watched um, It's a Wonderful Life. Congratulations, Yay! Kaden. A round of applause. Yay for Kaden. It was good. I'm not, why did you like it? Ryan, will you get your face out I of your phone? I loved it. You did? Yes. All right, you would I recommend it? 
All right, guys, if you haven't seen It's a Wonderful Life, you have to see it. A classic Christmas movie. Okay, we're going to go around and do a little lightning round. What is your most classic Christmas TV show and then classic Christmas movie? I'll go first. Charlie Brown, It's a Wonderful Life. Fantastic. Uh, good luck, Charlie. It's Christmas. Oh. The Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The clay figuring one that was made in the 60s. That mm -hmm. is the only fire one. Oh. Home Alone 2, oh, no. Lost in New York. It's much better than the first one. Mm -hmm. And I guess Good Luck Charlie, it's Christmas. Home Alone 2. And I was going to say Elf, but it's not like, I think it's not classic yeah. enough. But you think Home Alone 2 is more classic than Elf? Home Alone 2 came out yeah. in like 19, like something. The fact that it starts with a 19 makes it classic. <laughs> okay. okay. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York came out November 15th, 1992. And when did Elf come out? Do, 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 All right, take a guess. I'm gonna say 2006 because 2006 was the best year for everything. Oh, that's when you were born. It's, reason, it's when Cars was released, the second Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it was before uh, that. It's when Odeon Tomlinson uh, uh, broke yeah, the all-time touchdowns there, record. 2006 this was a good year. <laughs> I was born. I mean, yeah. Really good year. Katie's car was made. That's right. Katie's car is a 2006. It was a good year, you're well, right? Elf nice. was actually made in 2003. Oh, hey, were you born in 2003? Yeah, it's a great year as well. Kaden, you and Elf, I love it. Wait, did you give us your favorite movie? Oh, you did, Lost in New York too. And then what's your favorite TV, like your favorite show? Uh, I don't have one. Yeah, okay. I can't think of one. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna share mine. I was considering Rudolph as a show, not a movie. So I'm gonna say Rudolph is my favorite show. Wait, and why is Rudolph a show? Cause we used to watch on TV when we were little. That's for me, like it was, it was a show. It was on TV versus a movie that you would go to the movie theater and watch. I never saw Rudolph in the movie theater. That's oh. what I mean. And then my favorite Christmas movie is definitely It's a Wonderful Life. But I feel like there's some other ones. I love Polar Express, which we're going to watch right now. I love um, Sound of Music, which people say it's not a Christmas movie. But I think it, really sometimes it, it comes out during Christmas and people watch it during Christmas. You know what else people watch during Christmas is... Um, the Wizard of Oz, which is one of my most favorite movies ever, but I don't really wow. consider it a Christmas you movie. Made me cry Wizard of Oz. Oz. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I made you guys watch it too early. Yeah. Low key, the episode of Phineas and Ferb where they remade Wizard of Oz is probably better than the actual Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh yeah, I agree. I agree. I love that. <laughs> I'd like to see that because I think it would probably probably make me laugh. It is fire. Yeah. All right, well, you guys comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is and what your favorite, oh, Christmas show is. And now we're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. The and... Wizard of Boz, Chris Boswell is the Wizard of Boz. Oh, who's Chris Boswell? Pittsburgh Steelers kicker. Oh, oh, he's the Wizard of Boz, that's good. Yeah. He's a pretty good kicker. Time to, time to watch a movie. Who's Yay! got it, who's got that? We have hot chocolate. Yeah, well, you do you it, know, I'll go make the hot chocolate. You know we researched Tom Hanks Tom Hanks' role in this movie, and he was originally supposed to be only the conductor, but he plays the conductor, the hobo, the kid, the dad, the dad, and Santa. Santa. Can you, like, I'm <laughs> sick, dog. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, that was our movie. All right, Caden, what made you happy today? Just hanging out. Mm. Nice. That made me happy. It's nice being like December and like school's still intense, but it's just sort of a holiday spirit. Uh, not sort of, definitely a holiday spirit in the air. It's just a, different. Hits yeah. different in December, doesn't it? Yeah, and I don't have a, I don't have a ton of schoolwork right now, so. Nice. Uh, Ryan, what made you happy today? Uh, watching Polar Express. Excellent. How about you, Brennan? Oh, what made you happy today? Going to the mall with Katie today. Oh, going to the mall with Katie. Excellent. What made you happy today, Brennan? The first thing that made me happy today was going to the mall with Brennan. And the second thing that made me happy today was when mom came out with um, the chocolate um, hot chocolate, hot chocolate platter. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Very good. All right. What made me happy today was watching Polar Express with you guys. And what's going to make me happy is Mike coming home. He's been away, so he's going to come home, and I'm excited to see him. And the fact that Brennan's here, and our whole family's back together. Well, our whole family's about to be back together again. So made me happy today. So comment below. Made you guys happy today. We hope you enjoyed seeing Brennan's triumphant return after his first semester in college. And we will have him with us for another four weeks. Right, Brennan? Four weeks? Yes. Excellent. Great wait. All right, see you guys later.
For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.